welcome to episode number 60 of Adventures in Wealth. In this episode, we're going to continue from where we left off last, last time, where we did the open root V groove on plate in the flat position. And this time, we're going to move on to open root V groove in the horizontal position. Now you can see I have my plates tacked up here. These are the same uh, quarter inch plates I used before. They're tacked up with a very tight 3 32nd inch groove. And this time we'll be using the lay wire technique to weld them up. I've got my machine, the Eastwood TIG 200 ACDC, set for foot pedal control with a 0.4 second pre-flow and a 5 second post-flow at about 110 amps max. So let's get set up and let's get rolling. Alright, here we go. I'm gonna buff up that tack a little bit. <clears throat> Alright, we're gonna start rolling from the right to the left. I've got the wire uh, pushed in there almost flat. Got the pedal good about maybe 80-85% in there. And as I move the puddle along, I just keep adding the rod to it. Get out of position, roll off, get into a new position, light up again where the old one ended, melt that puddle, add rod, and move on. This is just a simple continuous process. There's no real difference between the flat and the horizontal except finding a place to prop your hand. In this I'm using the uh, TIG finger, which is an insulating device that you place over your pinky finger, and then you can prop directly on the hot plate. Again, out of position. I reposition myself, get everything set up, light up on the end of the last um, bead, wait until it's, it's wet, add rod, and move on. Now again, this is a very tight gap here. That 332nd rod will not fit through that 332nd groove, so you're able to push that rod in there, into that groove, and just keep on feeding it in there. Moving on, you don't want to use too much speed, you don't want to warp or you don't want to go too slow. You want to move along with a good speed so you don't warp the metal. Here's my last reposition. Come up to the end here, taper off, hold right, it in Frank, position until the post blow. This is our quarter inch mild steel single V groove open root with the TIG process. This is the root pass. Now if you look here, you can see we started from this end, traveled to this end with the lay wire technique, so you're not going to see a lot of ripple in there. Everything is pretty smooth. Flip it over. There's the back side and you can see that we without a doubt penetrated all the way through there now if you're doing this for a fit up for test you can see the space in there you want to come in here using either the dip or lay wire technique I'd probably use a dip for this and lay your cover pass right on top of there Now when doing this in the horizontal position, you need somewhere to rest your hand. I rested on here today using the TIG finger. Going just like that. So that is your open root V groove on plate in the horizontal position with TIG. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, or comment, and I'll see you next time.